Robotic right inguinal hernia repair with mesh utilizing the transabdominal preperitoneal approach. The patient is placed in a supine lithotomy position. We start by using the same trocar setup as in a laparoscopic transabdominal preperitoneal inguinal hernia repair. We utilize two 8mm trocars in the right mid and left mid quadrant centered by a 12mm trocar for the camera. The robot is then docked between the patient's legs. Internal surface anatomy reveals the medial umbilical ligament, the inferior epigastric vessels, the spermatic vessels, as well as the vas deferens. This view also reveals a pantaloon type hernia with direct and indirect components. Dissection is begun with the creation of a peritoneal flap. This starts medially at the level of the medial umbilical ligament and the peritoneal flap is carried laterally towards the anterior superior iliac spine. When creating the peritoneal flap, it is important to stay dorsal to the transversalis fascia to maintain within an avascular plane. The arrow delineates the iliotibial tract. This view reveals the genital branch of the genitofemoral nerve. Medial to the hernia sac, Cooper's ligament is exposed. The corona mortis overlying Cooper's ligament is exposed to avoid inadvertent tack injury. Once Cooper's ligament is well exposed, dissection of the hernia sac commences. The hernia sac is reduced from the deep inguinal ring and the spermatic cord is skeletonized. This portion of the procedure requires sharp and blunt dissection. The testicular vessels seen to the right of the scissors are preserved along its length. The scissors delineates the edge of the reduced peritoneal sac. Continued dissection of the peritoneum off its retroperitoneal structures is important in order to launch a wide sheet of mesh. Tacks to secure the mesh are placed medially on Cooper's ligament and laterally above the iliopubic tract in order to avoid the triangle of doom as well as the triangle of pain. The 8mm trocar ipsilateral to the hernia defect is then undocked and the assistant deploys the mesh through this trocar into the inguinal space. Tacks are placed on Cooper's ligament above Cooper's ligament anteriorly and attack in the superolateral position. The peritoneal flap is then closed with the tacking device.